Because when phones are turned off and the lights are turned down, the movie really shines. Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. My name is Joanny. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And on this channel, I like to post movie and TV content as well as New York City content because that's where I live. So if you are into any of those things, please subscribe to the channel. I post videos every week and I would love to have you join my growing community. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the new film Love, Lies and Bleeding, which is an A24 production. The film stars Kristen Stewart, Katie O'Brien, Ed Harris, Dave Franco, Jenna Malone and Anna Baryshnikov. I'm sorry, Anna, if I butcher your last name. Like I said, this is an A24 production and you know A24 never misses and they did not miss with this one. After watching this film, I can finally say, finally, a woman's film that I could get behind. I was not really sure what to expect from this film. I'm not crazy about Kristen Stewart. I don't rush to the theaters to see her movies. And I was not familiar with the director, but I kept hearing great things about it. I saw a few reviews and people loved the film. So I decided to go and watch it. Love Lies Bleeding was directed by Rose Glass and it was written by Rose Glass and Veronica Tofilska. Love Lies Bleeding tells the love story of a reclusive gym manager, Lou, played by Kristen Stewart, who falls hard for Jackie, played by Katie O'Brien, an ambitious bodybuilder headed through town to Vegas in pursuit of her dream. But their love ignites violence, pulling them deep into the web of Lou's criminal family. Just FYI, I will be spoiling this movie, so if you don't like spoilers, I suggest that you go watch the film, come back here, finish watching this video, and then share in the comments what you thought about the film. I really love this film. I really love the story. I love how it was shot. It reminded me of another A24 film, The Iron Claw, but I guess that's because they were set in the same era. But there isn't much fancy work. Uh, it is more driven by the story, which I really enjoy. In the words of Stefan from SNL, this film had everything. It had love, sex, steroids, blood. It was very entertaining and anxiety inducing. Normally, I am not that impressed with Kristen Stewart and her acting, but color me impressed. I am sorry, Kristen Stewart. I ever doubted you. You were fantastic. Katie O'Brien was also excellent. I was not very familiar with her. I think she was in Quantum Mania with uh, Ant-Man Quantum Mania, but I don't really remember her in that film, but she was fantastic in this. Watching her in this film, I was like, why wasn't she cast for She-Hulk? She was perfect for that role. Why wasn't she in it? I feel like we should all pretend the show She-Hulk never happened on Disney and Disney should make it over or at least make a movie to make up for what they gave us and they should cast Katie O'Brien as She-Hulk for this movie or TV show that they should make again. <laughs> Anyways, that is just a thought, Disney. So Katie O'Brien plays Jackie, the bodybuilder who's trying to get to Vegas for a bodybuilding competition. So she stops by this town in New Mexico because she's trying to get a job just to save up money. And she has been hitchhiking from Oklahoma because her family kicked her out. When we first meet Jackie, she's having sex with Dave Franco who plays JJ and they're having sex in a car. He plays JJ, a terrible human being, by the way. It was really hard for me to see Dave, Dave Franco as such a monster because he's such a sweet guy. I mean, from what we see on social media and his interviews and stuff, he seemed like such a sweet guy. And he plays this terrible human being. We don't see him doing the terrible stuff, we just see the aftermath. Which is something that I did like about this film. There's a lot of stuff that happens off camera, so it's left for the viewer to imagine what's going on behind the scenes. And I like that because it just kind of pulls you into this world and into these characters' lives. So JJ is always beating his wife, who is Lou, who's played by Kristen Stewart. That's her sister. And every time we see her, she's progressively worse. The first time we see her, she has a bruise under her eye. The second time, she has a full-blown black eye. And then the third time, this man, JJ, beat her into a coma. 
So Jackie, after JJ gets her the job, she goes to the gym where uh, Lou, Kristen Stewart, is the manager at. Then Lou sees her at the gym working out and she's like, ooh, who's that? And she's just like staring at her. Then at the end of the night, they start talking, they fall in love, they have sex and move in together all within five minutes. They had great chemistry, by the way. So that same night when Lou finds out, you know, about Jackie and why she's in town and how she wants to go to this bodybuilder competition, Lou gives her all these steroids to use. And as the movie goes on, she starts injecting herself more and more. Like at the beginning there, she'll do a little bit and then Lou will help her with a needle. But then as the movie went on, she just kept injecting herself and getting bigger and bigger. She starts getting roid rage, I guess, you know, what, what happens when you do steroids. And then she slowly goes insane. And this is one of the things I liked about this film, how they show her progression to insanity. Her body was just like getting bigger and bigger. And then they would show like close-ups of her biceps, her legs, and like the veins popping out and just like inflating and getting bigger. There's a scene of her and Kristen Stewart having sex and they just do a close-up of like her biceps and it just inflates and like you can see the veins popping. I thought that was cool. So when JJ puts his wife in a coma, Lou is really upset because that's her sister. and She's like crying. And that's when the rage just hits Jackie and she goes ballistic and kills JJ. So after Lou finds out what happened and Jackie, it's like stress in the bathroom. She's like, oh my God, I killed him. So Lou comes and cleans up the, the mess. She cleans up the, um, the scene, the crime scene. And they drive together to this canyon in the desert and just dump his body and with his car down into this canyon. And that's when we learn, well, she doesn't say it, but it's suggested Lou's dad is a criminal. He is like the mastermind for this criminal operation in New Mexico. And he has thrown stuff down into this canyon for years and years. Like anyone that he needs to get rid of and kills, they throw him into the canyon. So Lou actually used to work with her dad back in the day. That's how she knows how to get rid of the body. And that's how she knows where to dump this body. Anyways, she's not talking to her dad and she wants to frame him for JJ's death. That's why she throws the body in there with the car and sets it on fire so it could attract some attention from the police because the FBI is looking for her dad and they had gone to her gym and asked her questions. So she's like, once they go down there, they're gonna find a lot more stuff than, J than just JJ. And it's all gonna be pointing back to her dad. So Jackie now has been doing steroids for a while. Her and Kristen Stewart get into a fight because you know, there's, she killed a man and Kristen Stewart had to clean up after her. So Kristen Stewart told her, don't leave the house, but Jackie is going ballistic. She has to go to this competition. So they have, it, they have this huge fight and she goes, she hitchhikes to Vegas. And by now the steroids have taken over her brain and she's having all these hallucinations and she goes to the competition and she's on stage competing. And when it's her turn to like do her poses by herself, she starts posing, but then she starts hallucinating and she throws up right on stage. And she hallucinates that the competitors are like these demons laughing at her. So she goes backstage and beats them up and then they throw her in jail. At the end, Jackie literally transforms into a giant. And you think she's transforming into the Incredible Hulk because the way that it was shot, they shot it from behind and she's like getting bigger and bigger and then her shirt rips and then she comes running as a giant, just like a, as a giant person, not a Hulk person. And she rescues Lou from her dad who was about to kill her. And when she shows up, like Lou looks up and sees her as a giant and her dad also, Lou's dad sees her as a giant. And she runs wearing this, uh, the, her competition bathing suit, this black bathing suit. And I was like, where did she have the bathing suit? Cause she was tied up. The dad had her tied up in the back somewhere and Lou found her. 
Anyways, that scene kind of threw me off. I was like, they had me until that scene. I was really into the movie and then she turned into a giant and I was like, what? What is happening right now? So at the end, they run into the sunset together and live happily ever after. There was this one girl who was obsessed with Lou and she was always trying to flirt with her, but Lou didn't want her until uh, the girl, when they were driving to dump JJ's body, Lou was driving JJ's car and the girl like ran out to her and she's like, oh, hey, how are you? Yada, yada, yada. So she was kind of insinuating like, oh, I know it was so weird that you were driving his car and then he went missing. So she kind of knew something. So she used that to force uh, Lou to have sex with her. Anyways, uh, Jackie kills her. And at the end, we see them driving and Lou wrapped her body in this carpet and she had her in the back of her car, the, her pickup truck. And as Jackie and Lou are driving into the sunset, Jackie sees uh, the carpet moving and she stops and she realizes that the girl is still alive. So Lou decides to kill her again and drags the body out of the car and into the desert. As, uh, as Jackie is sleeping in the car and it was just so funny that scene was so funny to me because that's like the end here is Jackie passed out in the car and Lou's over there cleaning up her mess again and that's when like the credits roll Jackie is just like sleeping and you see Lou in the background like trying to pull the body away from the car and just dragging it out and it was just so funny to me one thing that I was thinking about is that JJ the the wife beater he works for lou and her sister's dad so the dad probably knew that he was beating up his daughter and never did anything like you are the the head boss of this organized crime operation couldn't you make him go away somehow or beat some senses into him i don't know but i felt like he sh the dad should have been a little more protective over his daughter if he knew that his son-in-law was beating her anyways besides that and jackie turning into a giant i really enjoyed this film it was a thrilling love story about two people who fell in love and found themselves in a dangerous situation and it was very stressful watching them trying to get out of that situation it had a lot of funny parts all the actors were really great and seeing things through kristen stewart's character through lou's eyes it made me really anxious because she was just cleaning up her girlfriend's messes and I was stressed for her. Katie O'Brien was my favorite. I thought she did great and she did excellent and she looked fantastic. Overall, I will give this film three and a half stars. I thought it was great. I added it to my favorite films of the year and I highly recommend it if you are into crime films or a different type of love story. And that is the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen Love Lies Bleeding, comment down below and share what you thought about the film. And if you made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. I post videos every week and I hope you can join me on my next video. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Until next time, bye.